Hey folks, Dan here from Shuttermuse.com. Today we're taking a look at the Wandered Sling Bag. This bag is available in three different sizes. There is a three liter, a six liter, and a nine liter. In this case, we're looking at the six liter, but the features are the same across the lineup. So we only need to look at one of them to understand all of them. There are a lot of great features on this bag and some really unique ones that I have not seen on a camera sling bag before. So it's pretty exciting to have a look at this one and we'll run through all of the features right now. Let's start on the front here. We have a YKK AquaGuard water resistant zipper. Uh, not waterproof, but highly water resistant. And in fact, the entire bag is made of very water resistant nylon material. It's the same shiny material that they use on the Wandered Provoke backpack. If you're a fan of Wandered bags, you've probably come across this really, really tough material before. So big glove friendly zipper pulls on there. I like that. Open up this front pocket. There's a small divider on the corner here, which has a key clip in it. That's nice because if you've got your keys in there, it means that they will not scratch whatever is on this side. So on this side, you could put your phone and not be worried about your keys scratching your phone. That's a pretty neat addition. Just that little divider there. Good thinking. This is slightly padded. It's not soft. It's not the, the kind of pocket where you put your sunglasses, not that kind of pocket, but there's a little padding in there. So yeah, your cell phone would be great. Maybe a couple of uh, camera filters, something like that. Let's have a look at the main part of the bag. Actually, before we do that, I've got my hand on this big chunky handle there. I really like that. It's a, kind of a stylish look to it as well with that cross. I like that, but it's not too, it's not too chunky. So you don't feel like it gets in the way and you're carrying extra weight around with you, but it's just a nice, nice thing to grab onto. Okay. Main section of the bag here, pop that open, zippered pocket here. Uh, no additional organization in that pocket, but it's a good place to store your batteries. Now, in this section, uh, once again, another black wandered bag with a black interior that makes it very hard to see what's going on, not just for you guys right now in this video, but just in general. I don't like a black interior on a bag, especially when the rest of the bag is black as well, but here we are. They've been doing it for years and I don't think they're about to stop. This bag is available in a tan color and the tan bag does have a tan interior as well. So if you are worried about being able to find dark colored stuff, inside your bag, then maybe have a look at the other color. Uh, it comes with a pair of dividers, big, chunky, squishy ones, and they have a fold in the middle so you can create a shelf to stack two lenses up. Or if you're using a camera body with a lens attached, you can create the shelf to kind of hold the camera with the lens pointing downwards. So a pair of dividers, uh, all in all, very nicely padded, very thickly padded interior. At the back of this section, this is gonna be a little tricky for you guys to see because of how dark it is, but in the back, we have this big organizing pocket. So there's three smaller pockets there, which are just those little mesh pockets. I think their intention is to be used for memory cards. I don't like using them for that because they're not secured. I wouldn't put my expensive memory cards in, a, in an unzippered pocket, but there we go. Um, then this section, great for an iPad mini, great for a travel guidebook if you're traveling with this, notepad, something like that. Uh, then we have these little accordion dividers. So there's just a small piece of material that kind of separates the two corners and allows you a bit of extra organization right in there and in there as well. Great for USB cables, uh, maybe a USB battery pack, something like that. Just a little extra organization. So aside from it being very dark in here, they've done a great job on the interior of the bag. I like that. Okay. What should we look at next? Let's look at the back panel here and talk about the comfort. So big aerated padded mesh back panel. You can see we've got this interesting shape here with these winglets. Now you can see how from the side view, you can see how they would wrap around your body. When you've got the camera, when you've got the strap on like that, it kind of pulls this around your body. We saw a similar design on the Moment Rugged Sling and this works in a similar way, it's extremely comfortable, actually has a little bit more padding than the Moment one. And I would say this is the most comfortable camera sling bag I have ever tried. I have to give them top marks for comfort. It really is just a pleasure to carry this, even if you fill it with uh, you know, two, three lenses and a camera body. It carries really, really well. So I was super impressed with that. Another area that they have done a great job with is the strap. So. We can see here, this is actually quick release. 
That's great for putting it on if you don't want to throw the shoulder strap right over your head, but it also means that if you want to switch from left shoulder to right shoulder carry, you can just pop both sides of this off and flip the strap around. So uh, depending on how you like to carry your sling, you can change that really easily. Uh, I, like, I like that, yeah. Uh, the shoulder pad itself is nice and chunky. Again, aerated uh, foam padding. And then we've also got this additional buckle here. So this is for the crossbody stabilizing strap. Any good sling bag is gonna have an additional strap that basically goes under your armpit and snaps like that. And that just gives you stability while you're moving around and uh, doing more active pursuits. So you could use this while you're cycling or something like that. And you'll definitely appreciate having that stabilizer strap. If you're not using it, there's a small pocket in the bottom. You can just stuff it in there. Okay, so what else have we got on here? We've got some side handles. Um, not sure I would grab the bag there, but you could clip something else to it, uh, maybe tuck a jacket through there or clip a carabiner to it with a water bottle, something like that. Right, on to some of the really unique features. Okay, so believe it or not, this actually has a way to carry a laptop. Now that's on the six liter and the nine liter versions only, but Wanderer'd sell this accessory clamshell case. This is a 13 inch one, and make a 16 inch as well. It's uh, nicely padded, same water resistant, materials. It's pretty basic though, but um, you don't need it to do a lot, just a clamshell case. So you put your laptop in there and then to set this up for laptop carry, you flip it over onto the bottom and open this zipper on the bottom. Okay. Flip it over on the top, open the top zipper. Now, if I show you this, I push my hand through there. You can see there is a little extra material that slides out from the bottom of the sling. That means that I can now take this laptop case and tuck it in there and it kind of comes out the bottom of the sling bag, but of course this is sewn across the bottom so it can't actually go all the way through. So now we have a sling bag that is carrying a laptop. And for a little extra security, around the back there, there is this little strap, little nylon strap with a hook on it. And on the inside here, there is a little loop. So if you wanted extra safety, you could tighten that up. And it means that if you take this whole thing off and you have it at a funny angle, you're not gonna accidentally drop your laptop. That's not able to come out of that pocket at all once that's on there. So that's really cool. Um, if you want a sling bag for only occasional laptop carry, then I think that's it's worth looking at using that feature. The laptop case is an extra $54. Not a bad price for what is a pretty substantial case. And uh, obviously it's a lot cheaper than buying another laptop bag that also carries a camera bag, uh, also carries cameras. So this is a, a fairly good way to manage that. I think if I was gonna carry it every single day, I would probably still go with a laptop bag that also carries a camera. But if you just want it for occasional use, then this is a good solution. And yeah, I mean, Props to Wanderit, I've never seen anything like this before, so it's quite unusual to come across entirely brand new features on camera bags these days. Uh, the designers have done a great job with that. Now there is another unique feature on this. So on the bottom of this bag, where you would usually just find some straps to carry a tripod, we actually have this sleeve. Now I can put my hand all the way through it like that, so what we could do is take a small tripod. I got the Peak Design travel tripod here. Uh, you could slide that through and cinch up these elastic toggles. And now you're carrying a tripod on the bottom of the sling. What's interesting about this is I generally don't like carrying tripods on the bottom of a sling bag where they have those straps that just hold the tripod there because it means when you take the sling bag off and put it on the ground, the first thing that touches the ground is your expensive tripod. This isn't a perfect solution to prevent that. You probably still could touch the ground with some parts of this, but it's definitely better than the straps. There's a lot of scratch protection provided by this. So that's a pretty cool way to do that. Now let's take that out. Another thing that you can do with this is cinch up one end really, really tight and then open up the other end and you can actually fit a one liter Nalgene water bottle in there. 
or you could stuff a rain jacket in there. So by cinching one end up super tight and opening up the other end, you basically create a pocket here. You can put something in there and then cinch that as tight as you need to secure whatever that object is. Now I've tried it with a Nalgene bottle, that works great. And I've tried it with a rain jacket and that's pretty cool too. So uh, again, a, a unique feature that hasn't been seen on the sling bags from the likes of uh, Mindshift, Low Pro, Peak Design, Moment, things like that. I mean, there are some features that uh, on this bag that I think um, have been, I don't want to say copied, but borrowed from some of those bags. Uh, but what I like is that the designers have added their own unique touch to this with some features that nobody else has. And they've created a really, really good camera sling bag. Like I said, I think this is the most comfortable one that I have. Now in terms of pricing, this does come in at the higher end of the spectrum, particularly the nine liter version, which is slightly more expensive than equivalently sized ones from Peak Design and Moment. Uh, it's 149 for the nine liter, 129 for this six liter and $99 for the three liter. And like I said, this laptop case uh, in either the 13 inch or the 16 inch size is $54. So I think those prices, although they are at the higher end of the spectrum, you definitely see the materials and the hardware and the design features that you would hope to see at that higher price point. And you get sort of typical Wandered build quality here. So um, yeah, fans of Wandered will be fans of this bag. And I think many other people will too. This is a really, really comfortable sling bag. Okay, if you found that review useful, please do give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because we will have plenty more like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.